Good morning, folks. My name's Kelly Scott, and I'm here representing True Harvest Farms, a hemp farm in Christiansburg, Virginia. We have a website. We can be found at trueharvestfarms.com. We can also be found through social media on Facebook and Instagram. This is our owner, Mr. Matt Hagen. We are a Matt Hagen farm, and True Harvest Farms prides itself in the plant-to-pure product approach where what makes us unique is that all of our products are from the ground up. We grow all of our hemp ourselves and manufacture all of our products. I am a one part of a team, so I also have here on the farm Mr. John Straw, our general manager, lead grower, um, and Mr. Aaron Axline, our chemist and product developer. So I'm here today to talk to you about lessons learned in 2019. Um, it would really be quicker for me to probably talk to you about lessons not learned because we seem to be learning so much about hemp production, especially in Virginia and all across the southeastern United States where we haven't seen cannabis production for a number of years. Here's one of our fields. Uh, we do have two forms of harvest here at True Harvest Farms. We harvest for flower production, where we come in by hand and we cut off some of these larger top colas um, and then hang dry that in a conditioned space for smokable flower production. But we also do a great deal of biomass production. And that's what you see here as us harvesting the biomass. And so in order to get this biomass chopped, um, we have to win row the product. And so we go in and we cut the hemp um, and let it lay down on the plastic for a day or so before we come in with a machine and then chop it and load it into these wagons, which are then baled. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of steps of that process here. We started out with this John Deere forage head, which is um, traditionally used to chop corn, but we quick, quickly learned that it wasn't going to be suited for our purposes, mainly because of the size of our hemp stalks and also from the gumminess or the resin of the hemp plant itself. So we formed a great relationship and partnership with New Holland, who's working really hard not only for True Harvest Farms, but all hemp producers to be innovative and build new equipment, um, especially uh, designed and engineered for hemp production. And so this was a 920 forage cruiser and it quickly did the job on our 85 acres here on the farm. And so here you can again see how it was wind rowed. You can see the product in front of the machine. Um, and so that was chopped by hand and then laid on the plastic and it was allowed to lay there for a day before we came in and chopped it. You'll also see some of the larger center stalks left in the field because we didn't want all of that in our biomass production. This is an example of what the biomass looked like. So it was a full plant chop. It was not just colas or flowers. You can see some stems in there, and that's one of the things that we're working on for uh, this year's production is how to grow um, really great sized hemp, but try to get those stalks a little smaller. Here's a quick video of us baling our hemp. So all of that biomass went into a wet bale. So I'm gonna show you this video and I'll tell you a little bit about our baler. So you can see from the video that wagon of hemp that was chopped in the field was then brought in the barn um, and then that was moved into a baler. We used an Oracle Denzex compactor which baled into these really tightly um, compacted four by four bales. The average weight of these bales was 2,200 pounds, so just over a ton per bale. Um, and across our 85 acres, 
We uh, produced 450 bales last year, which was right at a million pounds of wet biomass. That biomass was then produced into crude and into distillate, and we're continuing to make isolate from that product. Um, we do have a product line, a, a finished product line, and we offer full spectrum as well as uh, CBD isolated products. So thank you so much for your time this morning. Again, my name's Kelly Scott at True Harvest Farms. This is my email if you have any questions on how we did things in 2019 or how we move forward with this year's production. Thanks.